Right, now let us have a look at how the Japanese candlesticks give us precise entry and exit points in the market. So, the Japanese candle patterns allow us to trade from the correct side of the market. This is a very important point because with Japanese candlesticks, we know exactly when to enter and exactly the point at which we should be out of the market. Understand that Japanese candlesticks are a tool, not a trading system. We can have the entry and stop loss, but to get the profit target, we need Western technicals for that. So in this example, we will also look at how to manage a trade and how to look at the trade objectively rather than emotionally. Okay, We will take a decision to enter and we will take a decision to exit the trade based on what we see happening in the market, not based on how we feel or what are our emotions about the market. Okay, So have a look at this example. So this is a daily chart of the Nifty index, the top 50 stocks in India. So this is an example of entry exit, when to enter, when to exit. So I have drawn two purple lines here. So this is what, this is a rising window. We have discussed this already. A rising window becomes what? It becomes support. The lower line of the rising window is a stronger support than the upper line of the rising window. But the entire window itself, the zone itself is support, which is why for so many days here, the, the none of the candles could break that support. Okay, So that support has held very strongly. And this is a long period of time because one candle represents one day's worth of price action. So it's too many days here. Okay, So the window's support has held, held strongly. Even in this part, if you see, none of these candles has been able to break or cross the window. Crossing the window means, when I say window, I am referring to the lower, the lower line of the, the rising window because that is the real, that is the major support. Once that is broken, then we say that the window is broken. Unless that is broken, we cannot say that the window is broken. So all of these candles, they entered the window and then they went back up without closing below the window. See, if there is a candle, like this candle, this closed below the lower line of the window. Okay, So please understand that the window is not broken unless there is a close below the lower line of that rising window. So on this candle, the window was broken. But I wouldn't consider that as a decisive break because it's very, it's very, it's a close call. Okay, This is the candle that I would consider which closed decisively below that window. So on this candle, I have 100% guarantee that the window is finally broken. On this candle, probably there was a chance that it might go up again. The price might go up again. But here, it's a clear indication that the window has been broken, which means what? When the support gets broken, who is in charge of the market now? The bulls or the bears? The bears are in charge of the market because on the support, who is sitting on the support? The bulls are sitting on the support. The bulls are supporting the price. But now we see that that support has been broken. So the so this candle has broken the back of the bulls, which means the bears are in control. So if I were to take this trade, I would take a short position here, and I would where would I keep my stop loss? I would keep my stop loss above this this window. Why? Simply because. The window has been broken. It isn't valid now. Chances are this old, old support might become resistance now. Okay, because the bears are in charge. Okay, so that's a that's a different concept which we will learn in probably level three or level four. The that is called as change of polarity, where old support becomes new resistance. Okay, that's an important concept. Sorry, so old support can become resistance so that is the reason why i would keep my i would keep my entry point here and stop loss here and since we don't have any target to aim at here we will keep the target open so we know what risk we are taking on this trade 
and let's ride the trend down because here at least we know that the bears are in charge of the market. So let's see what happens each day. Okay, how are we going to manage this trade? So this candle has closed and let's suppose this is a Monday. So let's see what happens on a Tuesday. We are going to look at this candle by candle. Okay. So on Tuesday, you have this candle. What are you going to do? Are you going to close the position or are you going to remain in the position? I would remain in the position because it's a black candle. I am bearish and I am making profits here at the close of the candle. Okay. So what happens on the next day? The next day closes like this, which is a black candle, which is even even better. We are still in profits. Okay. What happens on the next day? Now, this candle is a black candle, which is good. We are bearish. We have a short position. So we have a black candle. Nice for us. This is like music for us. A three consecutive days, black candles. Moreover, if you look at this upper shadow, what does the upper shadow indicate? Upper shadow indicates bearishness, which is what so the bearishness, the upper shadow is confirming the bearishness that we had on this candle. So let's see what happens on the next day. There is a small white candle, but it's not very significant. Okay, it's not a tall white candle which makes us nervous. So occasional uh, uh, uptrend in price is okay, but it's a small candle. But we have three consecutive days of of downtrend. So I'm not too nervous about this one. Okay. A big black candle on the next day, which which gives me more confidence now uh, because I'm bearish on this. So a big black candle negates the bullishness of this candle. Another big candle. This is music for us. Now white candle, but the but this white candle doesn't bother me much because it is smaller than these two candles. Moreover, if this white candle would have closed somewhere here or somewhere here, that would have been a cause of concern because that would become a, a bullish engulfing pattern, right? Remember, we studied the bullish engulfing pattern. In that case, I would be nervous, but here there is no reason to be nervous. It's a small white candle. Occasionally, the price will go up, so the market never goes down in a straight line. So I would keep my position. I would not exit the trade. Then suddenly you have the, the, the long lower shadow, which is making me nervous. Although the candle is black, but the long lower shadow is hinting that the bulls might be back in, into the market. So, so, so I would not exit this position because it's a black candle and I'm still making money here. I would just become uh, cautious on this candle. Okay. Now that cautiousness has ended because now we have two equal shadows. The upper shadow and the lower shadow is equal. The white body is not a very large white body because it is smaller than these three black candles. It's not a big deal. The main thing here to look at is the confusion in the market. We have same, same amount of bearishness as, as we have the bullishness. So nothing much to worry about here. Plus this is not a bullish engulfing pattern. So I will keep my keep my position. So I have made profit from here till here now. All right. Now what is this candlestick pattern? That's a hammer, right? Lower shadow more than twice the height of the real body. It may not be. Uh, actually, it is twice the height of the real body. So it is a hammer which is coming after a downtrend. Although it's a standalone hammer, but for us, it is a, a hammer is a hammer for us, okay, which is a bullish sign and we are bearish on the stock. So we have a clear candlestick pattern now, which is telling us that the price may either go flat or it may choose to go up. But this, this is a reversal pattern, which means the prior trend is likely to end. So the chances of price going even further down are low. So I would exit at this point. So I have made a profit from this level to the close of the hammer. So that would be my profit. This is how I manage the trade uh, on a day by day basis. This is not an intraday chart. This is a daily chart. Okay. A short position on the nifty. Okay. So and it doesn't take much of my time because I'm watching it once per day. I'm not sitting in front of the charts whole day. Okay. So see how precise Japanese candlesticks are in giving us the 
precise entry and exit points in the market okay although they don't give us the profit targets but at least they tell us where exactly to exit so if we would not have exited here then our money would have been stuck in this in this flat zigzag market for so many days okay so because after if we are bearish on the stock after this we expect the price to go down further we don't want it to consolidate like this so our money would have been stuck in a zigzag market or a flat market if we would not have exited on this particular trade which was a clear sign given by the market that the trend is ending this flat market indicates that the prior downtrend has ended see there is a steep downtrend and suddenly you have consolidation here okay so that trend has ended which was pointed by the hammer okay